hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video, and hopefully somebody can point me in the right direction, but the Unify port forwarding statistics seem to have been erased from existence. Okay, so what I've got up here is I've got my UDM Pro and I've got my UDR. So we all know that on the UDR, there is no um, classic interface. With the UDM Pro, there is a classic interface. But what I want to show you is when we're uh, doing a lot of port forwarding and things like that, one of the best tools that we had for troubleshooting those port forwardings, uh, this is the old UI on the UDM Pro. We would go to Insights. And under insights, there was this whole list of things that we could look at. Switch stacks, stats, uh, dynamic DNS, remote user VPN. And then we had port forwarding stats. So that's what we're on here. And it could be all uh, user defined or UPnP. Now, I don't have UPnP enabled here, but you can see I've got this UDM. And if we had packets that were matching it, they would increment here and then however many bytes and uh, we could edit the port forwarding directly from there. So when I come over to my UDR and I go to insights, it is actually just Wi-Fi uh, insights. And if I go to display options, I don't get any options to add um, port forwarding. So it is gone. So what do you do if you want to troubleshoot port forwarding on your UDR or if you're using the new user interface, because watch this, if I go into uh, the UDM Pro and go to user interface and I enable the new user interface and it comes up and then I go to um, insights, guess what? It is just Wi-Fi insights again. Um, there are some other advantages to the new UI. We'll get into that into an upcoming video. But for now, um, my port forwarding statistics are gone. So even if I come over to the, um, the port forwarding statistics are gone. So even if I come over to the settings and I, and I search for port forwarding, so I get port forwarding, add new port forwarding. So here's what you've got to do apparently if you are using the new user interface or the UDR that does not have, what you've got to do is when you do your port forwarding, you're going to have to turn on logging. Now, then you're either going to have to use the console log that's available here to do that, or you're going to have to, and my recommendation is to send your Unify logs to a different syslog server, whether it's a Synology, a Kiwi syslog, a gray log, um, you name a system that can do logging, you're going to have to do that to troubleshoot those, or you're going to have to figure out how to get into uh, the command line. Like I said, this is the UDR. So if I come in here, I have no way uh, the UD, uh, UDR, and I believe the UDM SE, I might be wrong on that. Somebody let me know in the comments, but I don't believe that it allows us to do the uh, classic interface, but you definitely can't do it on the UDR. So the UDR, those port forwarding statistics are completely gone. And we use those a lot when we're troubleshooting. So if, if I missed something glaring, somebody let me know down in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe and that you comment and share. And please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, as well as all of our affiliate links if you'd like to support the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, click Hire Us, or contact, contact us. Fill out that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.